Well, it's a gorgeous day in the neighborhood. I haven't been out yet because I'm a little preoccupied with the new global government in formation right before our very eyes. <sighs> this is a playbook and we are being played. The first step was the global emergency on January 30th of 2020, when you know who, the World Health Organization, called an emergency, a global emergency, in which all the sovereign nations that were member nations of the United Nations handed over the reins of sovereignty. Now, not full sovereignty, but the right to make decision on the nation's behalf as a collective. Those decisions turned out to be pretty poor because the countries that actually were member nations of the United Nations, but did their own thing in their own national interest, by closing the borders, like Kazakhstan, Mongolia, North Korea. They didn't have any cases until quite recently. Right next to China, sharing borders. Yet, the decision was to continue having everyone fly. Yeah, that worked out well. Because now we have, because of their poor decision making, Everyone in the world is in various states of lockdown. The introduction of police states. Now this is all to protect the vulnerable. Yet we found here that number one, the doctor's offices are empty. The hospital waiting rooms are empty. No visitors in or out. <laughs> and security getting up everywhere you look. In the prison system, right now, medium security from a source, the army is moving in to the gym, the cafeteria being shut down, and the inmates, the place I'm talking about has housing, and it also has the institutional setting, and the people in that will be getting rations. Yeah. It's all underway. There's more going on. And it's all being positioned. Now, the other day, which is the most alarming thing, and this is the red alert. This isn't a drill. Tony Blair of the UK used to be Prime Minister. Gordon Brown used to be Prime Minister. They're all part of the, the boys club, let's just say. The old boys club. They are now lobbying for the global government. Now this is all part of a plan because this is rolled out. It's a rollout. But they are now lobbying for a one world government, a global government, in order that coronavirus be contained. So right now, you know who has our fate in their hands and they've made really bad decisions. And now they want to appoint bureaucrats, corporations, foundations, stakeholders, <laughs> except the people on this planet are not represented within that stakeholder group. This is what they're, this is what they're doing. This is alarm bells, people, because this is what I've been saying. It's a stage by stage. I can see things. <laughs> I can. And sometimes I don't understand the whole significance until I start backtracking. And it's all being presented right before our very eyes as a response when it was the plan all along to hijack the sovereignty of every single nation on this planet 
to create a global government to rid the world of our nations. And I know this seems like too big to be true. And that how could all of us be snowed? <laughs> but this is what's happening. And even in my little province here, this innocent little province, they're into it up to their necks because part of this plan Okay, it's economic and it's also medical. So what they're doing, they need to develop the vaccine. This establishes the legitimacy of this organization. And then they're putting in the economic reforms, which they're doing now, again, right before our very eyes. They've thrown an invisible boogeyman at us. It's brilliant for psychopaths. But here we are. What do we do? I'll tell you what we do. We pull the data. I'm getting info from everywhere, all over the place. A woman I know on my Facebook, I'm not gonna mention her name because for privacy sakes, but she, a refined spiritual woman, decided to go take a look at one of her schools in Colorado. And as she went through the back, she saw the white vans. She took some pictures. All of a sudden, the wrath of hell was unleashed on her. The police were called. She had her phone, her phone camera confiscated and pictures deleted. What are they hiding? Why is security in Calgary's Lougheed Hospital right now ramped up? Nobody going in and out. <laughs> I want to hear from anyone who is suffering from coronavirus, who has a positive, who has a negative, who's been through the experience. I'd like to know. And I would like to hear from anybody out there, please that knows anybody with a positive or a negative or has been tested. This is ultimately important because although they don't look connected, <laughs> they're intrinsically linked and all part of the agenda of the 2030 pie. We can't achieve these global goals of agenda 2030 in which every nation around the world has subscribed without drastic changes that we would have never agreed to. So they threw us, the boogeyman. The means to separate us from one another. We can't meet in groups of more than five. The ability to throw somebody into quarantine a culture where we are busting each other and they're promoting it. I just saw something from Ontario and I was absolutely horrified. I don't see one sign downtown telling people like who are homeless that there's a virus out here. They don't get it. Um, again, I know they don't seem like they could be linked. But in fact, <laughs> it's one big ball of nastiness, greed, and a structure that wants to maintain its power, the 1%, the same 1% <laughs> as forever, <laughs> except this time, what you've built in your lifetime, <laughs> They don't want you to have that. Wherever we live in the world, this is our country and we are being completely eliminated from this conversation of people that have had a plan and are playing us like a fiddle. 
Again, I would never suggest you take this manufactured virus lightly. It's manufactured to raise hell, and it has. Look at our world right now. Right now, we need to be asking our respective governments what they intend to do because they, to me, it's pure betrayal. Absolute betrayal to Canada and Canadians. They need to be called to task for allowing this threat to proliferate in our country. They're responsible. I call upon all of us in our respective nations to demand accountability because right now justice is not being served. Not for us, only for them. This is a very, I don't know what or how more to say it, that this is a critical juncture in the world. Critical. And I can't believe it's me saying it. Where are those experts? The writing is on the wall. And we're being played. Please subscribe to my channel. Love to have you. Your support is my juice. I thank you. It's now or never time. I believe it.